Hi, I'm Indo Team Doctor Victoria and I go by the name Tim Victoria and you are watching Miss Nigeria TV. I'm a teacher, but not a conventional type. I don't teach in classrooms, I teach on blogs, I teach on YouTube and um, being a teacher is something I've always wanted to do, but I also love writing, so I've always wanted to be a writer. So when I was younger, I've been writing. I write, wrote from primary school, wrote uh, on my books, get teachers to punish me, and pass my books around and all those things. But it grew to become something I love to do, something I had passion for. So when it was time for me to, you know, going to art class it wasn't difficult i just knew that it was hard even though i broke the art of so many people now when i mean in science then it was time to choose what course i was going to study in university and that's when togo was started with my father and he didn't want me to study um mass communication as i wanted i felt mass com was the best place for a writer so he felt like mass com no that environment is saturated go for something else so I decided that I was going to, you know, work something that work something out in such a way that I still get to study what I like to do. Um, I spoke to a guardian, my guardian then, and he told me my father wanted the best for me, but I have to pick something that would go in line with teaching and also in line with writing. So I chose English, and I went back to my dad, and he said no. And he felt that, you know, as a woman, you need stability in your life, so teaching would be nice. So why don't you study education and English together and something like that. So I decided that, okay, fine, English education. With a lot of, you know, quick talk about how I can still do my master's in mass communication and all. I got into the uh, University of Lagos with English education. And I realized that when I got in, a lot of my classmates were they didn't choose English as their first choice. English was actually second choice. Like they were thrown into my um, faculty. They were not excited about it. I was the only one that was wondering, okay, why did I choose that my first choice? It felt like a mistake. You know, a lot of people were saying education is the worst faculty in the old school. So why would you go there? And oh, but yeah, yeah, I'm very glad I studied English education. And um, I also realized that it was challenges in terms of, you know, doing well. And being in a faculty where you have to keep up, you know, there's a lot of demands on you. My first year results was very terrible because I was actually lost and, you know, confused. I saw my classmates, classmates were older than me, you know, a lot of things, factors were not working out together for me at that time because I was very distracted. But eventually my guardian told me that, you see, you need to do your best. You need to come up with your best. And it doesn't stop you from doing what you have to do. You just have to make sure that you prove to yourself that you can do something, make something out of what you're doing. So eventually I graduated well and finished. And um, during my process in University of Lagos was where I found out about blogging. And I realized that there was a platform where I could actually put my writings and people get to read it. With the excitement, I went straight into blogging. I registered for um, um, under Google Blogger and I started posting, writing stories, writing things about myself, getting people to read it, but nobody read it. So it was heartbreaking or shattering. And I didn't understand why I'll post that people won't read it. I'll post and I'll find out that only very few people that I tell to read it eventually get to read it. So um, along the line, I didn't stop writing. I eventually ended up writing for a magazine in church um, and I started writing articles, you know, posting it online, sometimes on Facebook. So I just kept doing it. And eventually I realized that in just in writing, I was also teaching. I realized that I don't have to be conventional in my teaching. Writing three steps on how to do something is actually teaching somebody something. So I decided that okay, I think I'll keep writing and keep doing what I love to do, which was writing. So uh, I eventually found WordPress and that made my life way easier. So I joined WordPress, found a community, people that you know liked my posts, read my posts, commented, and the feedback was beautiful. So that encouraged me to do more. And I realized that the more I poured out, the more I expressed myself, the better it was for the people around me. You know, I was able to write about how I felt, I was able to write about how they can do things or things that I know. I was able to teach them on my blog. 
world. So that has really helped me to be able to spread my tentacles beyond my local community. When I write, I get people from Canada, I make friends from outside the country on the WordPress community. And I realized that, wow, writing can actually blow up your mind and blow you out of this country. Like when you're writing, you know that your audience is not limited to just the people that you know. So which has been always beautiful. So this has helped me to make an impact in people's life. I'm also a poet. I write poems and it's something that comes very naturally to me. I decided to start writing my poems and putting it online and this has really helped me to express myself but also helping to help other people. Um, just um, recently I did 25 points for 25 people. I was able to write um, their people's story, they tell me their stories or whatever they want me to write for them and I eventually you know, coin out something for them that can help them to express themselves which has been very beautiful. So this has really helped me to make an impact in someone's life. Seeing that words are more powerful than just um, information. It's not just information. Words are very um, expressive. It brings emotions out. It evokes the best out of people. So I really, 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 really love the fact that I'm doing what I love. I'm passionate about what I love. And everything that I'm doing is also in line with what I've always wanted to do. If you really want to become a blogger, a blogger, or you want to, you know, impact the world with writing, there are some few steps that you just need to take. The first thing is for you to make sure that you know what you're doing. Be passionate about what you're doing. If you're passionate about what you're doing, then you'll be able to do more. Passion will push you forward than what you can ever imagine. Passion will take you places that you have not gone. And I've, I've said something before, and I will say it again, that you should be expressive about your passion. Let them see your passion when they see you. Don't let it be that until you talk, until you maybe have opportunity to have conversations, that they see what you do. Let your friends know what you're doing. That way they can refer you, they can talk to somebody about what you're doing. Then I also would advise you to do your research. Don't just go into anything without actually finding out what it entails to be in that field. And for, for me, I started writing out of um, as an hobby and I realized that there was more to blogging. If I knew the things I know about blogging some years back, I would have done better and I've done more. So I cannot make that as an excuse. So I advise you to learn from my mistakes. Make sure that you do your research. Know what other people are doing in that field and what you can bring in that is unique to you. So that what, that's what makes you stand out, actually. And also plan. Planning is very important. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. You have to plan. It is not a cliche. You just have to make sure that whatever you are doing, you have a strategy, you have an outline path that you want to follow. That is going to really help you to, be able to achieve and get to where you want to get to. Planning helps you to get to your destination faster. It helps you to move on. It helps you to know that I have a destination, I have a target, I have a goal, and I'm going to get there. For blogging, for blogging, for writing, just keep writing. If you want to write, keep writing. Write until you get better. The only competitor you have is yourself. Don't compare yourself to other writers that have done better or anybody else. You can see them as your inspiration, but don't take them as your competitor. Make sure that you know that you have your own unique voice, you are different from other people, and you can be who you want to be. You can reach me on social media, at, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, it's at Temitoria everywhere. On YouTube also, it's also at Temitoria. You can actually connect with me and I'll connect back right back with you. I want to thank Miss Nigeria for this platform. It's been an honor being here. And I hope that this is going to impact the life of, lives of writers out there and other women that want to do great things in life. Okay.